Okay, and now we're back. See, we told you we'd be back. Now, part two is going to involve our other er, film that involves us with our popular culture. At least there are some films that involve us encountering people. You know, how come you don't make any films of us pillars creatures encountering people? We're cool. We like the science fiction you people made out of us, and we're kind of actually proud of it. <laughs> it makes us look tough and strong. Mm. Oh, now, this time there's going to be muted sounds. And, um, excuse us for one moment. Here we are. We had to close the door because we were hearing noise outside. Now, is everybody here? Come on, everybody, show up. Haha, <laughs> see, we're back, and we're pleased to do another re review of Paleozoic Creatures on Film. And this time, it's Primville. Forgive us, but it's not going to be that long, because we want to end this film and get this over with. But don't worry, we'll do all the episodes of Primville that involve us. Hmm, not to mention... Um, the sounds are going to be muted this time in case this might be too scary. And it might be even too scary for us. Okay, so here we go! Oh, let's move it! Alright, people, and oh wait! Somebody turn off the sound, please. Now, as you can see in episode 1. Primville has accidentally allowed in, sort of, well, this is the first episode, the first creature, creature to attack them in this, in the Primville media is the Gorgonops, not yet, see, there he is, and yet still identified as the Gorgonops did. You know what we like about this film is that, well, it makes us Pillsworth creatures look tough. That Gorgonops is strong and powerful, and it can... You know what it can do? Wait for it. See? He can toss cars! Isn't that amazing? It can cause destruction. Okay, let's move the camera higher. Look how fierce it is. He's vicious and strong. It's a lesson. It's like that Gorgonops is teaching those humans a lesson for not making them popular. See? This is what happens when you do not make us pillars or creatures popular. Because we are angry. Very angry. And, okay, let's skip a few. Alright. Well, we're not done yet. See? They, they even befriended a pillars or creature. At least, finally. It's a Saluravis. His name's Rex, by the way. And he is kind of cute. Huh. Most people prefer a dinosaur, huh? Hmm. Well, this creature's cool. Rex is good looking. Even though he's a little bit oversized, but I think he's good looking. We like the science fiction the, f the filmmakers of Primville made out of us. It's cool. Look how cute he is. Okay. See, look what he can do. He's awesome. He's amazing. Alright, moving on. Now, here, we have, well, this is when the time travel bit comes. Even though it's not a film for Pillars or Creatures, it's still cool. We like, we like it because of the Pillars or Creatures it contains. See, so Lord Avis it. And finally, people encountering Pillars or Creatures. At last, in Primville, that's what we like about Primville. And we are proud of it. Now this is usually the part where the Gorgonops attacks a kid named Ben. I know it's kind of cool to see the Gorgonops attack a kid, but I think it's a sign for saying, This is what happens when we Pillsworth creatures are not popular. Why didn't you make me popular? I think that's what the Gorgonops is saying. Just look at how tough he is. He's big, strong, vicious. You should have seen how amazing he is. It's, you might want to regret saying he's lame. You should see how awesome he is now. And I identify him by his name, not by genus. That kid knows how to fight back. 
Just look at the way how tough he is. He's big, vicious. I like, we love this guy. The Gorgonops is our man. Not to mention he has a big skull. Okay, the Gorgonops is not that big, but we still love him. We love you, Gorgonops. Okay, uh... Alright, people, let's move on. But wait, here's the part where he, um... Oh, I think the Gorgonops has left. Alright, people, here we are again. Now there's Rex. Once again, he's being intelligent, smart, that's what we like about him, and... Okay, moving on. We don't see what's so scary about him. Huh, he's amazing! That's our, it's our favorite show because it involves us pillar creatures encountering people. Most films will just have dinosaurs going after people. Except for Salura Avis, which would be Rex. He's different. He's a friend of the human. Now this is the part where the Gorgonop sneaks into the school. Too bad people don't make any even any art of pillar creatures, and the Gorgonops explores the school until what do you know? An art Gorgonops. The Gorgonops is confused. Hmm. At least now he's teaching the kids. For, well, okay, I don't know what I was about to say. Now this, now, if you're wondering what that kid just said, he just called him a dinosaur. Oh, you never should have said that, kid. What, you just had to call him a dinosaur. Or, ha, huh, how can he not know? Oh, let me guess, I see. He knows dinosaurs more than he knows the raspids. Huh, and now the Gorgonops going to get back at you. He pushes hard and hard. We love this guy. He cannot get any cooler. Now, man, he's so tough. Vicious. And now he wants to get back at people for not loving him and only loving dinosaurs. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Of course, we're just joking around. Of course, I'm going to be doing some talking here. I don't mean any interruptions while the Gorgonops is going after that man. Huh, you should have popularized the Pillar creatures, but now they're getting the revenge. <laughs> this is just a joke. I haven't got much to say. Huh, man, we like the way people make science fiction of Pillar creatures. At times, we love science fiction. It's one of our favorite things. Oh, wait, here's the part where the exciting part comes. Wait for it, wait for it. Go on, Gorgon, I'm showing what you've got. Well, no offense, human. Oh, man. This creature is almost invincible. Look at him roar dominantly. Poor human. Now, thing is, well, that's why we like like the Pelosaur creatures here. Because here, this is when the Pelosaur creatures become very nasty. If they were monstrous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we are real-life monsters, and still people like to make science fiction out of us. Oh well, we love it. <laughs> there are Dimetrodons here too, you too, no, you know, but you won't see them yet. Um, you know, what do I have to say? What do I have to say? Um, okay, this time we've got Pelosaur creatures encountering people, people befriending a befriending a Pelosaur creature, and this is the part where they meet some Scutosaurus, sort of. Wait. Alright, this is the part where they meet some Scutosauruses. Come on, people. Come on, wait, people. Wait, wait for it. You know what, I think we'll have to do something. Ah, here we are, Scutosauruses. And you know what? This is the size of elephants. Another thing we like about this, um, okay. Uh, another thing we like about this show. They make Scootosaurus look big as elephants. Sure wish there was a Scootosaurus as big as an elephant in real life. And here we have again the Gorgonopsians. The Gorgonopsis last stand in episode one of Primville. See how strong he is? Man, he's big, powerful, scary. Hmm. I don't know what else to say, but look at him how good he is! He's just as vicious as a dinosaur! What would it be like if he was fighting an Allosaurus? And this is the part where he's almost about to eat Rex. 
Hmm. The Gorgon Ops is our man. We're his biggest fan. And this is the part where he falls. Look out, Gorgon Ops! No! Oh, he didn't get hit yet. Ouch. No! Someone we gets killed. We can't watch. But we must. Oh dear. Here it comes. He's gonna fall. Fall the Gorgon Ops. He's not alive yet. He's not dead yet. Still alive. It's like he's almost invincible. But not completely. No! He's falling! Oh, 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 oh well. Sorry about that. You didn't get. You want to see him dying? Fine. If you want to. Look at him roaring. Oh, we feel sorry for that guy.